It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. Question of the day. Gloves are worn for protection from blood or blank. A. Seasonal viruses. B. Contaminated objects. C. Dirty tools. B. Body fluids. The answer will be revealed at the end of the video. Time for a shout out praise break. I want to give these four amazing subscribers a shout out. Adelie OMB. Barry Q Nails with a Z. Aileen. And L Neil2800. Thank you all for being the first four to comment on my latest post and having your post notification bells turned on. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor, if you don't mind, if this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing. And if you've been here with me and are returning, I would like to welcome you back. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a great deal and help pushes our content out to many more amazing subscribers such as yourself. So guys, getting right into today's video, I'm going to be doing my daughter nails. So she wanted this pink set. We're going to be using um, pink acrylic by Not Polish, which is called Portia. So the acrylic that I'm going to be using, I had just received it in the mail. Um, I actually went over to Not Polish um, and purchased the Portia color, that beautiful pink, and also the milky white, which I've always wanted to get that. And they were having a 25% off sale on Labor Day. So I was able to pick up a few things from them as well. I also picked up the little flashy lamp, the new flashy lamp that they have. So yes, guys, I think I will be sharing that maybe with you guys. I can't remember if I recorded that or not, but eventually at some point you guys will see it. Um, also, we are filming in a different direction. Well, not in a different direction. We just have um, a little bit more things added to the table. So, guys, I do have that new uh, dust collector, which is the Sunflower 2 dust collector. And that's what you see at the top of the screen, that silver piece there. That's the new um, dust collector um, from Sunflower. So, of course, you're going to see me pull out um, a dust collector for the bottom um, because I just want to protect. I want the dust going somewhere, but I don't want it to come on me or my clients. As you can see, it's not getting nowhere near my daughter's hands, so that's a great thing. And I love, love, love this dust collector. It's the best investment I could have made for my business. My clients love watching the dust just filter up into the, into that dust collector it's like they like the dust is going up <laughs> and i'm like yes it's a new dust collector <laughs> so it was a great investment for the business and i'm just grateful that i was able to get it um i did use i am biscuits uh code to get it um guys if you um watch i am biscuit you remember her reviewing the sunflower 2 dust collector that she received from Aerovet Systems, and I was able to go over, use her discount code, and purchase one for myself. And it came with so many amazing goodies. I do have 
um, a haul video to share with you guys. And I do, I know I unboxed this dust collector for you guys. So, just um, hold tight and I'll get that out to you guys as soon as I can. So, as I'm doing my daughter nails, um, she, y'all know I always tell you guys my daughter is my most difficult client. <laughs> And she really is my most difficult client, but not really. She is the client that I get to try things on. She always allowed me to, you know, try things with her. But within reason, because she always tell me what she wants. So, um, when we was doing this set, she wanted a whole different design. But when she saw that Porsche pink, she changed her mind completely and went a whole nother direction. So, as you guys see, I'm soaking off her nails. So, she wanted to go, her length, she wanted her length to go, be longer, like a medium length. And so, I was like, really? But as I was taking down her nails, I was like, let me just try to take them down. Because I thought I saw a bruise on her pointer finger, if you guys notice, um, on her right hand. Or, to you, it would be her left, on her pointer finger there looked like it was a bruise there so i kept saying is that a bruise so i'm pressing on the nail i'm looking i'm looking i'm like what happened did you hit your hand and she like no and i'm like uh what's that and she said ma i had that purple acrylic on that's that purple acrylic and i remember yes the set before this last set we just removed was the purple set so i was so happy <laughs> When she told me that was a purple set because I was getting concerned. I was like, how did my daughter get a bruise on her nail? You know, so neither here nor there. That was the purple acrylic. And I didn't want to over foul on her hand. So I just took the product down as much as I can. I soaked the fingers for like five minutes in um, the acetone and took off the rest of the product. And, yeah, now we're on to putting on the tips. So, if my daughter could have her way, gosh, she would wear her nails this long. But my daughter is 15. So, I tell her, no, ma'am. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> so, when she get to be of age, I'm sure she's going to be the first client I have that wears the extra, extra long tips. Because when she can get her nails this long she's definitely going to get her nails this long she hate when i pull out this nail clipper <laughs> so you guys gonna see here in a minute where she take her hand back she's looking at the tip and when i'm asking her to give me her hand she like no don't cut it again mom don't cut it it's good right here no 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 you know so We battle over her length all the time. She have a whole fit because she love a long nail. Hey, that's just who she is. She'll go from long to short to curve to stiletto to round to this to that. She love it all. So, yeah. Hey, what, what better way to get your practice in than to get it on your daughter, right? <laughs> And that's me, guys. Um, so, I'm going to cut her tips down. And then we're going to um, do her primer. And we're going to do the bunder. We're also going to um, seal in all of that product with the clear um, acrylic from Not Polish as well. And then I'll be sharing with you guys the new um, Not Polish Portia color that i received in the mail today and that's the one we're going to be using to do application i'm using my alpha eight alpha brush number eight um oh guys i miss alpha so much they have the they had the best brushes ever um but my daughter has small nail beds so i use a number eight on her and i won't use any higher um, or any larger brush because I want to make sure that I don't cause her any harm or any allergies by overusing a bigger brush and not being able to control my liquid to powder ratio. 
If you guys understand, you understand. So I like using the number eight on her, no matter the length, because her nail beds are so tiny. Um, so, um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing that. And while we do the process, guys, I am going to let you guys listen to some music. I'm not going to do a lot of talking, but if I feel the need to come back in, I will. Oh, here I'm going in trying to do that moon cut tip a little bit. Just a little bit. She don't like it really really deep we've had it deep before and she didn't like after that she didn't want it anymore and so this time i was like can i practice the moon cut on you you know and i'm like can can we do it and she was like um okay i'll let you do it this time but she's not a fan of it so this will be the last time we do it probably when we bring her set down um because she'll probably find a set where she want to come down a little bit on the length and I'll just cut that moon shape off and straighten out the tip. So, yeah. I appreciate my baby for always letting me practice on her. But she's not a fan of certain things. Not at all. And she is 15, guys. So, matter of fact, I actually gained three teenage clients due to my daughter's nails. Um, so, um, one client was her friend. And then her friend brought her sister and then her friend bought her her best friend. So I actually have now four acrylic, no, five acrylic clients, which, guys, I thought I'd never use any of my acrylics, and now I'm using them. And I even had to go out and buy more monomer. <laughs> it's been a while since I had to buy more monomer. So now I'm on a hunt to look for, like, a bigger gallon of monomer for a reasonable affordable price but um yeah i'll i'll get to looking around and figuring out who is the best to buy it from i love young nails that's what i've always been using that's what i'm using the last of and i should have caught the you know went and bought monomer while they had their Labor Day sale because everything was 30% off. They had some special deals, but every the entire site was 30% off. And I don't know why I wasn't thinking, but I had just purchased the Kiara Sky monomer. And so I guess I wasn't thinking. But anywho, I'll try to catch them, hopefully another sale. Um, and I also like the Kiara Sky monomer. And I like the Not Polished monomer as well. So, um, between those three I'm looking at, um, there used to be a brand, JC Beauty Concepts, guys, do you remember that brand? Oh my God, they had the best powder and the best monomer. <sighs> yeah. I miss that brand a lot. Um, but however, um, I'm going to be, um, checking those three companies out as well as, um, Nail warehouse wholesale, nail wholesale warehouse or nail warehouse wholesale, or no nail company wholesale. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna be checking them out because I like to go over there and grab things from them as well because it's a little bit more affordable. But when the the companies are having their sale, I rather buy it from their website because it's actually a little bit cheaper. So, um, because they actually having a sale. So, and plus I'd be trying to get in by using some discounts codes from some of these creators. <laughs> sometimes it works, not all the time, but sometimes it do work. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. I'm going to, um, go ahead and continue with this process. I'm going to let you guys listen to some music and I'll be back shortly. <laughs>
So guys, I wanted to pop back in here. As you can see, when I first started on her first hand with this acrylic application, I was having a hard time, guys. I was struggling because me and my daughter had took a break um, before I even started her nails when we finished the soak off. We actually took a break. That's why you see her in two different shirts. Um, we actually took some time off to go eat watch a little TV, and then we came back to it, right? Well, when we came back to it, my daughter went and put on this sweater. It's like a hoodie. And her body temperature was very warm. I mean, extremely warm. Her hands was, like, warm. And I was like, why did you put a sweater on? You're going to mess up my application because... Guys, not only do room temperature play a part in your application, but body temperature play a part in your application. So my daughter was just like warm and she was like, I was cold. And my daughter is like, she a September baby. So she between the seasons. She like summer going out, fall coming in type. So I guess she go from... She hot in the winter and cold in the summer. I don't understand it at all. And so I was burning up just looking at her. But anyway, my application was just like struggling on her first hand. But I said, you know, everything can be fixed and shaping and filing. Just continue with the process. Don't make the, the nails too thick. Um, but you know, just try to complete the application best you can fill in the gaps where you can, and then use the clear, um, to fill in any other areas that need to be filled in besides the cuticle area and sidewalls. I need to make sure those were covered. Right. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know, by the time I got on this hand, you know, things started to get a little bit better. I, you know, I started to get my rhythm, um, and sometimes that happens. That happens a lot with me. Um, because it ain't that, it's not, oh, it ain't, Lord, forgive me. It's not that I don't do this enough. It's just that I have so many things going on. And I'm always changing up the mediums I'm using that, like, I have an, a poly gel client, right? And... When I'm doing my poly gel application, it's somewhat similar, but not because it's not acrylic. And so when I go to back to acrylic, it's almost like I'm trying to do it the same way I do poly gel. And I'm like, no, this is acrylic, Genie. So now I have to process. I don't know if anybody understands what I'm saying. If you do, drop me a comment below and let me know. Do you have that same issue when you work in between mediums? That's why I guess a lot of uh, nail techs will choose a medium to specialize in. And that's the services they offer because they're able to get a rhythm and a pattern and stick to that, right? And it becomes like second nature to them. It's like they can close their eyes and do the application flawlessly because they've been doing it so much that it's like a rhythm, right? And... But I've never, I, I guess, I just didn't become that type of nail tech. I wanted to have every medium under my belt, at least the concept of every medium, and study those mediums and work and practice and work and practice to be able to offer those services to my clients because I have poly gel clients i have heart gel clients i have acrylic clients i have dip powder clients i've had all type of clients come in into my salon and or i say my nail salon it's in my house but my nail studio and want different mediums and i'm glad that i can offer them those services instead of saying hey no i only do this one thing or you know, I'm not really, I don't really do that or dab with that too much. So I'm not real familiar with that process. I don't have to turn a client away. So that's why I guess I wanted to learn all the mediums. And if you've been with me 
for this last three and a half years, you know every you know my processes and you know that I've shared every medium on my channel with you guys. So, um and I still, you know, work very hard at practicing each medium because something changes every day. But I'm enjoying the acrylic part of my journey now. I'm really enjoying it. The um, clients are happy. The applications are coming out better and better and better each time. Guys, I have to tell you, I had three clients on Friday afternoon from 4.30 to midnight. Yes. Um, my teenage clients, they wanted to get their nails done. They wanted to have them done before the weekend. They work on the weekend, so they can't come to me throughout the weekend they wanted to get it all done together all three of them and i was crazy enough to say yes <laughs> now let me tell you i know that some of you out here saying i see girls doing six and seven clients a day that's that's them that's 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 what they do <laughs> but jenny don't do that and uh but she did. She did it. And she did it well. She did it. She did it well. Every application was flawless. I shared the pics with you guys in a reel on Instagram. And I think it was on my Facebook as well. Uh, oh, I might even share it as a short here on YouTube eventually. <laughs> guys, I'm so lazy when it comes to my social media platforms. I, I'm just going to admit it. But, however, I did it. And I was so happy. They were happy. Um, oh, my God. It was just so refreshing. And I wasn't even tired. So, who knew? I was tired the next day. And, and maybe a little bit after that. The following day after that day. But, I wasn't so extremely tired. So, I was happy. Because I did my daughter nails that week. Um, I think I did my daughter nails on a... Sunday evening before she was to go back to school or maybe Monday. Um, and then I did, I had a client on that Tuesday for a pedicure. And that same client came back to me on Wednesday for her um, rebalance and, re and new design. So then I was free Wednesday. I didn't have... No, I was free Thursday. I didn't have anything going on. So I had told myself I'm going to rest. You know, I'm going to relax um, and just set everything up for my Friday client. So I did. I set up as much as I could without, you know, as, you know exposing anything or putting product out. Um, but I set up, set up the table, set up, you know, each individual um, implements and bows and buffers and all of that stuff to prepare had the table uh, wraps out also had my um, um, Lysol wipes and um, for the table and um, all of the you know things and then I had different um, drill bits and things that I know I would need for the service for each service um, and only thing I didn't have out was the tips because one of the young ladies was getting a full set. She never had nails before. And then my other two were my two teenager sisters that already had came to me previously. And they just needed a refill, a fill in and a redesign. So, um, or design change. I always say rebalance, redesign, but it's fill in or rebalance and a design change. So that wasn't hard you to do so we we kept it moving and i was proud of me and i was proud of them for allowing me the opportunity to take that time to clean the area clean the table spray everything down and um then they was prepared and ready for me so i was thankful for them as well um that they rolled with the punches and yeah it worked out so i had a very busy busy week oh and then that following saturday morning i had my cousin which has been my day a1 since day one um 
and she came for her rebalance and new design. So we had a full week, full week. So of course, Sunday was a rest day after service. And then Monday was Labor Day. And I actually laid around for the first part of the day. And then the second part of the day, I went to the nail lab to do a few things. Um, do my calendar for the month of September, you know, do my books and stuff like that um, because of the busy week I had um, before. Um, I had to get those receipts and things straightened out. But, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I had a busy, busy week. So, here I'm just going in. I'm just um, filing her nails, getting that shape back crisp. Um, I'm going to go over the surface of her nails. And as you can see, I do have a dust collector on the bottom of me. Only because um, when I'm doing this part of the filing, I really don't need my big dust collector that's above me. Um, because it's not much dust and everything is kind of going down in the dust collector on my table. Instead of the dust collector that I have above me. So... Um, but I still will. I was my daughter was the first to test out my new armrest. If you guys notice, I have that ergonomic white armrest. I got this. I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys too on that haul video. But I got it off of um. Oh God, what's that lady name? I'll 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 be sharing all of that with you guys here soon. But I got it off of Shop App and um. I want to say nailed by Val or Val, something Val. But I'll be sharing all of that with you guys here um, soon. But I got that armrest from there. And so my daughter was the first to test out the armrest. She was the first to be able to test out the new lighting system we have. Um, I did purchase um, one of the lights um, from Amazon that would go across the, the table. Um, and so I don't have to, if I don't want to have all of the lights on in my room anymore, I don't have to because I have a good lighting on the table now. So, um, I like that. Um, also, and then testing out that new dust collector as well as my new Melody Susie drill, which is a tabletop drill. Um, so yeah, it was fun day. I got to test out some stuff before my other clients came. My actual paying clients came. <laughs> um, but when my daughter actually washed her hands after this application, she was in love, in love with this color on her hand. She could have just, she was like, Mom, I don't know if I want any designs. Because she just loved how beautiful that pink came out. And, of course, at first I was like, huh, is this sheer? Is this, like, jelly? Um, because what I was going for was just, like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I've seen designs where girls are using that very bright, beautiful, hot pink as a base. And then doing, you know, their nail art or whatever on top. And that's what I was going for. I wanted to do Frenchies, but my daughter didn't want Frenchies. She wanted her own style, her own design. So, of course, we had to go with what she wanted. At least she, you know, let me try out the acrylic because she loved the pink. Um, so, here I'm just going in with some um, base coat. I think. Maybe not the base coat. I think I'm going in with top coat because she only she's doing charms on the pinky ring and thumb, and she's doing a cow print, pink cow print on the pointer and the ring in the middle, and we she wants some little stones in that cow around that cow print so. That's what we went with. She wanted charms, stones, and just cow print. A little pink cow print design. So, you're not going to be able to see every part of this design. Because the camera did cut out on us. I'm sorry, guys. It happens. 
hopefully I'll start timing it. Um, tell me something and leave it in the comment section if you're still here. Tell me if you rather just me tape the nail art portion of the video or would you want to see just the application part of the video? Let me know. And if you say I want to see both, then let me know how you want me to do that. Because when I'm in the process, I kind of just stay with it, right? So the answer to the question of the day is D, body fluid. So guys, I know you all knew that answer. I'm not even going to... I know you guys knew that answer. You want to wear gloves to protect you from blood and body fluids. That's one of the main reasons why you wear gloves during your services. Um, just in case, you know, your client, you may nip your client or whatever. They start bleeding. Um, you want to protect yourself from that or any kind of body fluids that may be, you know, flying or whatever. But this is the outcome. This is how it turned out. Very cute, very girly, very pink. Um, and yeah. All right, guys, if you are here and have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And until the next time, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And I'll see you all in my next video.